Hi guys, welcome to Bundy Book. My name's Leanne and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'll check in with you and let you know what's been going on and what I've been up to. Um, a couple weeks ago I went to a classic car show here on the east coast of England at a pub called the George and Dragon. Um, I didn't know what to expect, it was the first time we went and we went with our VAW group that we're part of called United Dubbers. Um, it was a really lovely event. The only thing I would say is I had no idea how big it was going to be. It was ridiculous. Um, I was expecting like your normal, just a few people to turn up. They couldn't get any more cars in that field that they had to turn people away. It was heartbreaking to see some people go. But the variety there was absolutely amazing. Um, the reason why I'm posting this video now and not a few weeks ago when I went, sorry, a couple, a couple of weeks ago when I went, was because at that time I didn't realise it was going to be our last VW event, or not, sorry, not VW event, just event in general. So things in the UK have escalated a little bit where we have now got new restrictions coming in place. So as of Monday just gone, our PM has declared that social gatherings outside and indoors are not allowed to go to go ahead with no more than six people. This includes children. So the events that would have been finishing up the season, whether they be VW or normal car or bike events, obviously have now completely been scrapped. Um, and I don't think we'll have any events now for the rest of the year. There is a rumour going around on some national newspapers that the London fireworks have even been cancelled because of the coronavirus. So if that's the case, then that's a big deal. I'm, I've never known them not to go ahead. It's ridiculous. So I wanted to post this little video up about the event that I went to and just to show you the variety of cars. There wasn't... Uh, how can I say it? Normally when I go to these events, they're normally really VW heavy. I can't help that. They are. But this event wasn't. There was so much there. There was a so, variety of different cars. Um, it was lovely to see so many, especially like some classics like the old Fiestas, uh, 205. And to be honest, there were so many more cars there that I wouldn't even know the names of them. I'm not car savvy, as I always say in my videos. However, I did see quite a few Evos and Subros because there were a lot of boys getting very excited there. Well, I say boys, they were grown men. But hey, boys will be boys. So, but like always, there was a lot of love for Bundy and the air calls. There seems to be a lot of appreciation from them and people just generally seem to really, really like the cars. So I'm curious to know whether you find that from where you're from in the world. So do you find that the air calls just get that little bit more attention and respect? rather than the T5s, T4s, um, campers. And I'm really curious to know whether you're in both communities as well, like myself. So do you have an air cooled, but also you have a T4, T25, or T5, or even that, do you have one of the new T5s? So, or even a T6? And are you classed as being in the T5 community? Because here it's, a bit of a grey area so I'm really intrigued to find out so I'm really sorry guys I didn't get a lot of footage of the event because well to be quite honest I was looking at the cars it was too nostalgic I was enjoying myself too much but anyway I put together a little video for you obviously please like and subscribe to my channel and then I'll be posting more videos um, as I said earlier if you want to follow Bundy on Instagram it's EW underscore Bundy underscore bug and I'll be posting lots of pictures on there. Okay guys, I'm going to stop talking now and I will see you soon. Like always, take care. Bye now.